This question says, study the diagram below and then answer the questions that follow. Okay, so it's the first one. Uh, well, let's go make our triangle. So the way that this works is if they give you a line like this, then make a triangle. Now, what a lot of learners do wrong is they go this way. They go like that. But you always wanna go towards the x-axis. Write that down. Always go towards the x-axis. So if it was there, go towards the x-axis. If it was there, go towards the x-axis. If it was there, go towards the x-axis, okay? So let's complete our triangle. Now what you gotta understand is that this over here is a x value, okay? Um, so you gotta understand that if I took this away, and let's also take this line away, okay? So I'm just gonna erase that line, and I just had a single dot here. Then if that coordinate is minus four minus three, then it means that it went four places to the left, that's where the four comes in, and then it went three places down, and that's where the minus three comes in. So we'll just put a minus there and a minus there, okay? Now I'm gonna let you see the triangle, and there we go. So now, um, if you draw your triangle over here, just ignore the Pythagoras for now and just say four, three. I mean, not Pythagoras, the negatives. Um, there's your triangle, okay, and it's a 90 degree triangle. And now we need to find this side over here by just using Pythagoras. So you can just say four squared, plus three squared is equal to uh, 25, my bad. And then the square root of 25 is five. So this length here is five, and you'll never make this length a negative. That length will always be a positive. Okay, now we have to go, now that our triangle is solved, we can go solve these questions. So the first one is sin theta. So you're gonna remember Sokotoa, okay? Some learners like to prefer to use sin is equal to y over r, cos is x over r, and tan is y over x. I don't use that method, but I know that a lot of learners do like to use it, and that's absolutely fine. But I like to use the Sokotoa method. So we they're asking us for sin, okay? So we say sin of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So you're always gonna use this angle over here, even though they're saying that that whole thing there is theta. Um, you're just gonna use this as your reference or your corner angle. And what you're gonna do now is you are gonna look for, um, you're gonna say the opposite, which is negative three, and the hypotenuse, which is five. And there we go. So that's the answer, negative three over five. You don't have to go any further. They didn't ask you for theta, they're just asking you for sin theta. And there you found sin theta. Now, going on to this next part. This next part, which is over here, is saying, okay, we need to go and find five, uh, let's write it over here, five, uh, let's write it here rather, five cos 90 minus theta plus three cot theta. Okay, now where is 90 minus theta? Well, what you do is remember we are always gonna pretend that this little angle here is theta. So if you have a triangle where you've got a 90, this is theta, then how would you find this one? Well, we know that if you take that angle, let's just call it the dot, and if you add it to 90, and if you add it to theta, then it should give you 180 degrees. So if you then had to go work out the little dot, you would take the 180 and the theta, I mean, you would take the 90 and the theta over, right? And that's gonna end up giving you 90 minus theta. So this angle, is uh, 90, let me just write it here. This angle is 90 minus theta, which is also this one over here. So that is the angle 90 minus theta. So when they say cos 90 minus theta, they just mean cos of this angle, okay? So then what you do is you just pretend that you are at this angle and you use cos. Now cos is adjacent. So what is the adjacent of this angle? Well, that is gonna be the negative three. So we're gonna say five, and then it's gonna be negative three over um, remember cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse is five, so you can say five. So you see what I've done? I just said five, and then I took cos 90 minus theta, which is just the cos of this angle, and that gave me negative three over five. Then I'm gonna say plus three. Now cot, cot, cosec, and sec is such a weird thing. They actually only do it in grade 10, and then you don't do it in grade 11 and 12. So what we must remember is that cot is the opposite of uh, tan. So if tan is equal to opposite over adjacent, then cot would be adjacent over the opposite. Now they're saying the cot of theta. So they're saying the cot of this angle 
over here. So if you look at cot as adjacent over opposite, and you're looking at this angle, then the adjacent would be negative four, and the opposite would be negative three. Okay, now if you just had to put this on your calculator, that part over there, you would end up with negative three, and if you put this on your calculator, you're just gonna end up with a positive four. And if you then go say minus three plus four, you're just gonna end up with one. 